Hello guys, so I kind of failed today because I wanted to do a week in my life and I forgot to bring my camera in the morning um, So I hope you don't mind. I'm just gonna do like a quick sit down of like what happened today um, I couldn't film in there anyway, so it's not that big of a deal But basically today was a fun day because I had what we call simulation lab Basically, we've been learning head-to-toe assessments for the past like week and a half and um, we have a test on Friday about just the overall course. However, today was essentially mimicking how it would be in the hospital. Really cool experience. They just like threw us in, like straight in. Basically, we had um, a sheet. It's like our brain. And it had a list of all six patients that we were to do assessments on. Um, we had our charge nurse walk us through each patient's room, explain what was going on, and then that took like about two minutes and then after that we went straight in essentially we saw our first patient we were there for six minutes and then we had one minute to debrief for the patient um, basically told us room for improvement so what made this nerve-wracking for me was one these patients were nursing students and faculty so they know like if you mess up i was a little bit nervous about that but overall it was a really good experience i didn't know some of the terms that was listed on the sheet so it kind of affected my assessment a little bit i kind of doubted myself at some times i definitely can work on confidence but i think that kind of just grows with experience but it was a really good experience and i hope that other nursing programs have that for their nurses because i definitely like it tested my knowledge of if I'm only doing a focus assessment like musculoskeletal and cardiac, am I able to know everything that encompasses it and based off of what the patient's telling me, how I need to kind of guide my questions to figure out what's going on. So it was a really good experience and I got really good feedback, a lot of positive feedback and a lot of encouraging words from the nursing students and staff so today was a really good day i don't have work today which is great because i have my head to toe assessment tomorrow basically my partner and i are going to be doing a head to toe assessment on each other and our uh professor is going to grade us on it so i'm a little bit nervous for that but i have today to just practice it practice it practice it i just have to be mindful of like the rubric and making sure like I cover everything that's on the rubric and I may do like a few questions since I do have a test on Friday I may do a few questions off of the study guide just to test my knowledge since I did study over the weekend hello good morning so I'm filming a quick little clip because I am headed to school for my physical assessment today so I'm gonna be meeting with my partner like 40 minutes earlier um, I'm I need to wrap oh. I need to wrap this up since I am running a little bit late. But we're just gonna run through, do a quick run through for both of us, and then take our assessment. We're the first ones, and I am so nervous, but you know, I've been practicing and I've been doing all that I can, so I just have to remember that. I passed! I'm so happy. It was so nerve wracking, um, just because. We were the first ones to go. My partner went ahead of me. Um, and like literally like the whole time like of her assessment, I was just super nervous. My heart rate was a little bit faster than normal. And then I went right after. I did miss one thing, which luckily she didn't um, like fail me for. And it was just something so small and I'm like still a little frustrated about it, but just with nerves, sometimes I'm like not all the way there, so I'm showing myself some grace. I did all of the assessments right and everything else based off the rubric, so I'm glad that I was able to get that over with. It's about 9.20 now. I have work at 4 and I'm orientating um, a doc, so I'm going to be a little bit busy today for work. So I'm probably, I didn't get sleep honestly yesterday, like I was just in and out and it was just, it was crazy. Um, so I'm probably going to just take like a little 30 minute nap. I napped for way longer than expected. I got home at 9 and I was supposed to nap for only about 30 minutes. Well, now it's 1 o'clock and I'm just now studying. So the true test for my understanding 
is questions and so that's what I'm working on right now basically I have it's um, a supplemental material that goes with the book that we have our textbook so I'm going to be using these T minus three days to the exam Wow, this this is a new level of hot mess express, but it's 10.30 right now, and I think the last time I picked up the camera, it was like one-ish, and I started doing questions, testing my knowledge on the various systems. I basically did that for like an hour and a half. I did work late tonight. I worked from 3.30 to almost 10, so basically it is 10.30. I'm on my iPad. I have, I mainly use my eBooks, but what I'm doing is I'm just um, reading from the beginning of the chapters. I have about like 60 pages to get through. I'm just rereading and refreshing my memory on like content that we touched on earlier. I don't know if I'll be able to get through all 60 pages. I'm a pretty fast reader, so we'll see. Okay, first webinar. Let's see if this goes. Hey y'all, so I'm sorry. I ended the webinar early because um, I think you could see the screen on the camera and it had my school information and I just don't feel comfortable sharing that right now. I've gone over some test questions like throughout. We provided questions, like I believe it was five questions and oh my goodness, it just motivated me more to study because they were select all of apply questions and it was difficult. I know she gave us a technique of like, when you have select all of that apply, read the question and then each answer choice, take it line by line. The first answer choice, ask yourself, is it true or false pertaining to the question? And then if it's not, don't select it. And then just do that until you reach all the answer choices. That helped a little bit, but I'm an overthinker. Rube decided that we're gonna meet up tomorrow because tomorrow's like a study day that they um, gave us, which is tomorrow's Thursday, today's Wednesday. Um, we're gonna meet as a group to kind of go over like a quick study session. And um, one of our group mates was like, oh, everyone send me 10 questions. I'll make a kahoot and we can practice. So I'll probably be doing that tomorrow. I don't know if I'll film it though. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I it's 1.30, I'm just rereading, or not rereading, but I'm just reading the um, textbook general overview. I have work from 4 to 9 p.m. and then I'm just gonna study a little bit more. almost four o'clock uh, basically today is Thursday the day before our test and um, I met up with a couple classmates um, at 10 on um, on campus to just do a review and answer some questions and I was there for about five hours um, I am going to be eating my chick-fil-a and enjoying it and then I'm just gonna be studying writing on my whiteboard um, and all of that so
like four o'clock. Um, I was just uh, using my whiteboard to try to rejog my memory on some of the early content that we um, completed and I kind of forgot about. So that's what I was doing and then my camera died, um, but I've been studying. It's around 11.30 now. Um, my test is at 9 a.m. tomorrow, um, but it's via Zoom. So like we have to do a check-in process at 8.30 a.m. I am nervous. I don't know like if I went too into detail on certain concepts and then not enough detailed on others. So, I mean, we'll see. At this point, it's either I know it or I don't. I am nervous about the select all that apply questions because they're 10% of the test. And that's what I struggle with the most because I am an overthinker. Like, I think about every other scenario or I just assume things. So um, I really need to work on that. It is 60 questions. I can only miss six questions in order to pass. So the stakes are high. Um, I'm nervous. Next clip will either be me bawling my eyes out because I failed or me smiling because I passed. Y'all, I am happier to report that I passed. I got a 98%, so I'm super super relieved y'all know that i was stressing i didn't have a good night's sleep last night so just testing in general like it has been stressful this was our first test via zoom um they have us record ourselves like basically with our phone not record like we're on zoom the whole time um with our cell phones and it's showing like our desk and our laptop while we're taking the exam and we can't mute ourselves and the camera always has to be on so um they basically said like if you have pets make sure that they're out and the doors closed if y'all have cats you know cats do not like close doors so my cat was like scratching the whole time and it was just yeah it was it was a little crazy and it was five hours i wanted to reflect on like some of the what worked for me for studying i was doing the readings i was taking detailed notes like on my weekends it was just making sure i understood the whole systems as a whole and that's what i want to show you all because i think this is helpful at least for this course and i'm going to carry it on for to fundamentals because i feel like just learning the processes overall um i'm gonna do a more detailed uh, look on like how I took my notes and everything because I felt like that helped me a lot my notes are very detailed and because this exam was just by the book and not like ATI I think it helped me a lot and I'm a visual learner so I inserted a lot of pictures and everything but basically I took notes like every reading that was assigned every day and then we had presentations I inputted those PDF presentations right after my notes from the book and then um basically what i did after which was last weekend was to refresh my memory i did um summary sheets so like for example i did <clears throat> and it's not the best looking but you know i did a head and neck assessment and i did like the nursing history how to do inspection palpation and then most importantly the findings what are the findings how are you going to chart it um, when you uh, assess the head the skull the face etc same thing for ears and eyes i did basically one page summary sheets i don't know if you guys can see one page summary sheets and that's kind of what helped me like look throughout the book and like remember all the pertinent information that i needed it's been quite a week i'm glad to have a few days of rest um i have I work Saturday morning, but I have Saturday evening, Sunday, no class Monday, and then I have like a CPR simulation on Tuesday, and then I start my next course, so I'm excited, and I hope you all enjoy this week in, in the life. Um, I will try to make it a little bit more organized next time, um, and I'm definitely going to try to get a little bit more footage. It is hard because I don't want to show my school, and then with work, I can't really film what I'm doing at work, um, so... I'll try to think of something but i hope this helped honestly nursing school is just a lot of reading for now a lot of reading a lot of practicing i'm in my room all the time yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> okay bye bye guys hope you have a good weekend